Howdy folks, it's Tall Turtle here, and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, doing another detailed airport look around, I guess. I don't want to say review, because I don't know enough about these areas to really add anything that the internet already hasn't added, but detailed review of Land's End this time on the Penwith Peninsula, the very westernmost part of the UK. That's my understanding. Five airports with the UK update. We've done two already. This is the third one. Land's End, where we started from smallest to biggest. Um, and the DV20 today, because why not? Alrighty, so World Brothers turned on. We have a 22, 21 knot wind. Just checking things out, enjoying our time here, looking around. We will take off and land from this airport. But a lot of this video is going to be looking around. More looking around than flying, probably. Looking at the windmills in the distance. Watching this van. There's our security van. Secret Service. There they go. Not sure what they're doing. Uh, looking around at the community area. Looking good. We'll also got the airport. It's a big parking lot. Considering the other place have been so small. Looks like we have a tower here too. And um, a good fence line. And then we have these other buildings. I don't know, house with a garden or something. Here we call them a backyard in the United States. But in England they call them a garden. So they have a nice garden with a table okay cars look good of course this is one of the five handcrafted airports just looking around i don't know much about this but anybody who does who doesn't have access to the sim this is your chance to look around that's why we're doing this let's see how this is modeled inside oh gosh we don't even get the shell of this one a lot of times you actually get the shell and it's actually kind of cool um but we don't even get that okay let's hop outside then um, solar panels or skylights? Probably skylights. What else is going on at this airport? Have some parking spaces. Fuel over here. And, um, I think it's like a triangle set of runways, if I remember. There's one runway. Two runways. Where's the third one? Oh. Maybe it's just two. Look like triangles on the map. Anyway. I also noticed when you select a with this latest update, when you select an airport, you used to be able to click zoom in, set departure or arrival, and now it's just um, nothing. <laughs> you select it and you have to zoom in yourself. It's kind of strange. I don't know what happened there, but maybe enough people will complain that they fixed it. See, like this one you can see inside. I don't know why, but it's really neat. It's kind of fun. I mean, this is a flight simulator, though, not a architect simulator, but... This is still really, really cool, especially if you live here or if you visited here. I could see how you'd want to spend a lot of time doing this. There's the baggage reclaim area. Whoa. Dude, this one even has restrooms. Crazy. Well, let's go out the front door here. And what else? Whoops. What else is going on here? Don't hit that forklift. So moving along the green stripe where it says pedestrians can walk. Got some, whoops. Got some places to eat. Cool. It's actually my Minecraft. I don't know why. Offices, or what's that? Maybe that's like a key drop or something. I don't know. I should know, but you don't. Some dumpsters. That the dumpsters even have the detail of dumpster stuff. This rocks in this case. But again, you know, if they didn't have this detail, you would notice. But the fact they have it, you probably really won't notice. Who parked that stuff? That's how people park where I live. They take up a whole bunch of spots because they don't want people to come that close to their car. How rude. How rude. Alright, let's see what we got. Some cool looking cars here. And then you get to the end and then there's your runway. Very cool. A little turn around there. Dirt little taxiway? Is that a dirt taxiway? Sure looks like it, doesn't it? Anyway, it looks awesome. Do we have any ambient sounds that I'm missing? Yeah, there's some ambient sound there. You can probably hear better than I can. My personal volume is turned down. And it's likely I have it cranked up for you. Alright, so there's a look at the airport. And, um, simple but detailed. Looks fantastic. Let's head back to our DV20. Hop inside. I do not have my checklist handy. Um, so we'll try to start it up on our own here. What I can remember, it's been a real long time. I think I had to do the fuel. Oh, fuel, wait. Fuel valve open, so it was already open. Okay. 
to our field there. Props forward. What do you think it's going to be? Um, parking brake is set. Battery master. Fuel pump on. Um, try it. Let's see if that's all we need. Is that all we need? Looks like it. Okay. Turn that on. We'll keep our fuel pump on. Um, do we have an ATIS here? We don't, so we'll just hit B to get our barometer, and then hit D to reset our compass, which are our, um, that compass, to match that compass. Um, uh, turn that on, although we don't really need it. And this isn't going to do it any good. What else can we do down here? Um, arm that. It is. Um, standby. Anything else for a set of flaps? Alrighty, let's radio and... See where they're sending us. Which room are they going to send us to here? Toon Tower. Um, where do we want to go? Where do we want to go? We're just going to go out and around Land's End here. Just kind of look around. So let's just say to the south. Just to tell it a direction. So we can actually click on that. And when we don't. Land's End Ground Turtle Sook Tango Sierra 4105 ready to taxi south departure. Turtle Soup Tango Sierra 4105 Taxi 2 and hold short of runway 2 by a taxiway cross runway 3 4 cross runway 7. Contact tower on 120 decimal 255 when ready. Alright. Runway 2. Two. Runway 2 using taxiway cross runway 3 hmm. 4 cross runway 7. Turtle Soup Tango runway Sierra 4105. Runway 2 which is going to be 20 degrees which is going to be to our left which is going to be... Um, that one? Did I say runway two? No, opposite that one. Way over there. Way over there? Is that going to be runway two? That's not runway two either. 25, 16. Oh, two. The grass one. Are you serious? Do you see this? Okay, fine. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. <laughs> we'll do it. We'll do it. That's kind of weird. Um, okay. That's what we'll do. So let's hop outside, take the parking brake off. I think. You gonna go? Jeez. And, um. Careful. Actually, we're gonna hop inside a second. We're gonna turn our landing light on. Because then um, we're going on to some runways to taxi here. Otherwise, I was gonna say something else. Oh, yes. Roll all weathers turned on. As are all players. You know, real life traffic and all player traffic. And we're gonna take this. How do we get there? Is that a taxiway, that road? If we just go across here? Let's just go across here. Um, all players are turned down, which I normally don't do. I just wanna see if there's anybody in the area. And I don't see anybody, which is confusing because one reason why I have been delaying these flights a little bit is because the servers have been so insane with people in this area checking things out that if you have all traffic on you like just come to a screeching halt at least that's how it was I mean we're at Land's End one of the new airports and nobody's here strange but okay I was honestly expecting to see a bunch of people <laughs> I guess it's fine that we don't but it's confusing unless the servers are down to me I actually had a hard time logging in I had to do the whole Xbox Live reset thing to log in for this flight, which I only need to do once every couple months, so maybe something screwed up. But anyway, they need to mow. If they really want people to use this as a runway, they really need to mow. So we're going to check out the area. Um, I assume everybody knows more about Land's End than I do. I guess it's an attraction area or something? I don't know. But it reminds me of like the Hobbit and stuff. So, whoops, this is runway 2 here. Oh, come on. This is runway 2. There we go. Well, guys, we're going to check things out and um, enjoy yourselves and listen to me ramble. I've been getting more and more people telling me that they love listening to me just ramble, which is awesome. That's the type of video I like to watch when people just ramble. Like I've told you many times, I watch the cross-stitch lady do her live streams for like two and a half hours sometimes if I'm doing other stuff. And she just talks about stuff. So, anyway, that's what we're doing. This is bumpy and scary. <laughs> oh, I also turned on POIs. I realized I had POIs off, so we may have been missing a few, but whatever. The achievement is done. It would be nice to see them. So here we go. Um, I can't see the runway from this angle. There we go. 
line up. Come on. Go, oh, you can do it. There you go, right there. Stop. Stop. Come out here. See, we're in the runway. See, isn't that crazy? Runway 2, we're facing 20 degrees. Imagine that. Okay, here we go. Reset everything just in case. And let's tune in for clearance and get out of here. And tower turtle took Tango Sierra 4105 ready for departure to the south at runway 2. Turtles of Tango Sierra 4105 cleared for takeoff runway to departure to the south approved. All right, cleared for takeoff. Cleared for takeoff runway. Two turtles of Check Tango the flaps are down, fuel pump is on, everything is ready to go. Start the timer and everything forward. Come on. Parking brake off, obviously. And it's hard to stay in the middle, but we got some kind of weird wind thing going on here, and I can't really see where the runway is. Holy moly. I got full left rudder right now, folks. Full left rudder. So it's going to be goofy when we pop up. You ready? Whoa. Oh my gosh. What? <laughs> wow. That crosswind is like we were going sideways. The heck? Look at that crosswind. Oh my goodness, it would have been nice having Adis. Where are we? We're heading north. We're going to make a U turn. Let me turn that fuel pump off. Wow. Wowzers. There we go. There's the airport. Jeez, if you turn around with the wind now, it gets crazier and crazier. Okie dokie. I will do that. Of course, I just realized I selected a low-wing aircraft <laughs> for sightseeing, which is not the best idea, but whatever. Let's trim this thing back, dude. My rudders are fine, right? Yeah. I needed full left rudder, and I couldn't even stay straight. And then as soon as I lifted off, obviously, it went all crazy, which I expected it to, but that was insane. Look how silky smooth this is. Wow. And we're just going to fly around here, check out the area, take some screenshots, and um, go back to the airport. Alrighty. What is that out there? Ooh, let's go check that out in the water. See right above the, right above the nose? Check that out. Fly around. Do we have this thing under control yet? Still wants to gain speed. Why? It's trimmed for like 500 miles an hour. Jeez, and I am shocked, completely shocked, that we don't see any other real life players right now. I guarantee you I selected it. Here's what her frame rates are. 48, yeah, that's normal. This is a little higher than that, I'm not able to do it anymore. What is this down here? What do we have going on? Just some rocks sticking out. Okay, I guess I'll check that on like a real life map or something and see but that's your airport right hotel charlie yeah all right well let's just stick around and follow the shoreline here we don't want to get into those clouds i'm not sure what the temperature is but it's probably chilly enough we will get icing if we touch those clouds because they have real weather turned on remember that's gorgeous view of land's end whoa 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 look at the controller cameras let's try to get i to get a nice um Nice thumbnail image here, but we're going to use the drone, and then I don't have any control of the aircraft, so let's quickly do this. Quickly do a land then photo opportunity. There we go. Okay. Doesn't need to be this stressful. Alrighty, so in real life, I don't know what's here. I just know I've heard of it. And it makes me think of like The Hobbit, not because of it being filmed here or anything, I don't think. It's just they have names like Land's End in The Hobbit. So we're going to fly around and look very casual. Well, the mesh is still loading for us. It's very slow today. Again, probably because there's a bazillion people here. I don't know why they're not showing up, though. Anyway, flying around, checking it out. Looking at the cars on the road. Ooh, there's a nice building there. I assume that's a famous building under the aircraft. What else? 
gorgeous. Wow. So the reason for these flights, I just enjoy doing them first of all, even if nobody watches them. So I'm not doing it for attention or anything. I just enjoy doing it. And I enjoy the community we have here, but I also know there are a lot of you who don't have the simulator, don't have access to it. So you still want to check this stuff out too. So we're essentially checking it out together. That's what we do here on the Tall Turtle Channel. Normally I do a lot more rambling, but I'm not in a rambling mode or mood like I usually am. Anyway, just checking out the detail. The farm there just about to go off your screen in the center. The water line. And the other communities or anything that we see. They're poured off in the distance to our left. Yeah, we'll just fly out here a little bit and head back. Super simple, super short. We just want to check out the handcrafted airports that they have in this update. And we'll do a bunch of other stuff. I have a lot more rural UK stuff I want to do. Rural Ireland. We'll do some POIs. Um, if you want to check out all the POIs, head over to Griverson's channel. He's been doing montages of all the, I think there's 70 or 72 POIs in this update. He's doing a montage of them all, just flying by them all, editing it all together. Um, we'll do some of that, but there are better resources if you're looking for that type of thing. Otherwise, we're just hanging out here. There was airport right there we saw down the runway. More fog going in though. So, like I said, I don't really know what goes on on Land's End. I just know it's famous. Famous for something. I don't know much about it. Sorry about my ignorance. But I'm not going to try to make stuff up. We're just going to fly out here to that city, that little community I see off the nose, and then we'll head back to the airport. I love doing stuff like this. I think we can take out the drone now. I think the airplane itself is stable enough that I can take out the drone. It'll just fly itself for a minute. I have no control. I'm actually using my yoke to move the drone. So the airplane is going to continue doing whatever it was doing before I went into drone mode. Um, I've got to be careful here. Sail starting to drift. i got to head back inside and regain control of our aircraft. Alright, everything's looking fantastico. What are we doing here? We're going to whatever community this is. Um, and then we'll circle back, probably, to runway 2 again. Whatever they tell us. Very nice. Don't want to get too high. And, um, let's check out the city when we get there. Turtles of Tango Sierra 4105, you are leaving my airspace. Frequency change approved. We finally left the airspace, but we're going to be right Land back in it in a minute. <laughs> I brought back shadows a little bit here. And, um... I want to get a little bit closer and check out the city, which I don't know the name of the city, but I'm going to look it up for you and put it on the bottom of the screen. Everyone's going to roll their eyes because I'm assuming this is the city I should obviously know, but I don't. But we're going to check it out. Again, we're trying to sightsee a little wing aircraft. <laughs> oh well, doing the best we can. Looks fabulous. Look at that terrain. That actually climbs pretty high, doesn't it? Alrighty, let's get a little bit more throttle here so we don't run into anything. Do a little flyover. Oh, don't want to get too close because then the satellite imagery doesn't blend very well with the 3D stuff. Look at, ooh, let's not get too close to the ground. It looks terrible. Must be some docks and stuff there. Climb, climb, climb. Alright, well, let's start circling back here. And, um, we're not even on here. And head to the airport. Let's tune it in. Um, what is it? It's St. Just, right? Hotel Charlie number two. Full stop landing. Land in and Tower here we go. Look at that. Six miles east to land. Look at this terrain. Turtles wow. You're also getting static view. We talked about that last time. I'll say it again in a second. Alright, first of all, barometer. 
compass. Alright, so when you get too far away, or if there's a bunch of train between you and the airport, it gets staticky. That's an option you can turn on or off. And I've always had it on, but I haven't noticed it until this update, so maybe they refined it a little bit. Although we're not that far from the airport, so it shouldn't be staticky yet. Anyway, they want left downwind to runway 2. Um, so let's see. Runway 2 is... Remember, it's that grass strip. Probably not even on here. Nope. We're going to have to figure it out. We don't have a bug to put on here. Just have to know runway 2 is 20. Um, how are we going to figure that out? We're going to go out here and give ourselves a big berth. So we can find it because it's grass. It's going to be hard to see. But let's enjoy the trip along the way and get back to sightseeing here. Looking out both windows. Fabulous. Totally feel that terrain. So I recorded this a few days ago. And when I recorded it, we have not yet had the hotfix that we're supposed to get for the double lift with the flaps. It doesn't seem to matter too much for these small props. Turbo props, it's a huge problem. The double lift thing. But um, I say that because we'll probably be able to come in very, very slow. And just before we touch down, we're bringing the flaps. So that we actually stay on the ground. Um, it is a trick that real life push pilots use. But, um, Romy shouldn't have to <laughs> with these aircraft, but we will because of the double lift bug. So runway 20 is going to be 20 degrees, which is going to probably be here going that way. So we want to come around like this. So we'll keep an eye on the map. iPad on our lap, just because we don't know the terrain or we don't know the area. Um, but it's gorgeous. I thought there's more going on in this area, to be honest. So, I'm going to do even more research when I'm done here. But we'll have to see. Now that's a gorgeous view. Look at that. I want to go here someday. I think I mentioned in the previous video that um, I want to go to England. I want to go to Ireland. But I don't want to do the touristy stuff. Whoa, look at that crosswind. I want to do stuff like this where you come out. Rural areas. Just hang out with some people. But the problem is you got to know people, right? You can't just show up randomly to a rural area, rural town, rural village in Ireland or Scotland and say, hey, I want to hang, hey, hang out with you for a day. I guess maybe you could. I don't know. In the U.S., you'd be a weirdo. Maybe it would be okay there. I don't know. Alrighty, we got to hop inside and pay attention to what we're doing. Should be coming up on the airport soon. Somewhere over here. And then look for runway 20. Um, yeah, which is pretty much behind us. So, all right, I see the windmills. I think I see the airport. I should have paid more attention when we took off, huh? Anyway, I mentioned in the previous video too about the screen tearing. Hasn't been fixed. Don't know what's going on. If I use VSync, there we go, right over the airport. See. There's the runways. We gotta find the grass runway somehow. They should give us landing clearance too pretty soon. Um, what am I trying to say? I don't know. Okay, so runway two is going to be this one right there. Right after the trees. Alright, well, let's come down and do kind of like a parallel here. A nice. Oh, wrong way. Wrong way. Wait, is that runway two? If we look at the compass, it should be. Yeah, that's where we took off from. Yeah, yeah. Is that really runway two? Looking at this two. I don't know. I'm confused. Anyway, I don't remember what I was saying. Um. Wait a second. Is this runway two? And I looked at runway five. No. We're gonna do a flyby here and figure this out. They're going to give us landing clearance. <laughs> We're not quite ready yet, but we'll accept it. Whoa, 24 knot wind. Are you serious? No wonder why we crazy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's runway 2. Let's just double check here. Um. Anyway, I forgot what I was saying. Totally don't remember. Yeah, that's runway 2. Yeah. Um. I don't know what I was saying at all. Anyway. Something about something, whatever. 
Alright, first set of flaps. Gears always down. Don't want to drop too much below this, though. That's the thing about something about being a weirdo. If you show up somewhere in the United States, is it like it in the UK? And then I said something after that, and I don't remember what I said. Do not remember. Let's not keep descending, please. If we keep descending, we're not going to see the airport when we turn around. Jeez, this wind is terrible. Am I really going to be able to land this thing? Am I really going to be able to land this thing? Alright, here we go. Sharp turn around here. Very sharp. All the way to about 20 degrees. Do not keep descending. No, 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 no. That's not how you do this, everybody. Oh, that wind. Oh. Yuck. There's the airport. Where's our runway? Behind these trees, right? I think I see it. Full flap. Oh man, this is going to be a rough one. This wind is horrendous. Isn't it our runway right here? I think. I thought it was. Maybe not. That's the other runway. Um, we're not going to land in our sand runway just because of this wind and the trees and everything. We're going to try to land on this one and get totally get yelled at. I don't care. We're landing on this one. Whatever it was. It's way closer to two. Look at look at our look at our heading. Weird. Oh, you know what that says? Because we're too low. Oh man. Come on. Twenty no seven. Really? Even though it's like thirty four degrees. Okay, whatever. I mean oh there we go. <laughs> My compass drifted thirty five degrees. Here we go. Right wing down, left rudder. Come on. Firm, firm. Don't bounce, though. Oh, bring those flaps in. Because that lift thing. That was rough. That was rough. Granted, I'm going to use the wind as an excuse. Holy moly. So what happened was our compass drifted. So normally every 20 minutes or so you have to reset your compass, right, to match the whiskey compass, and you do that by hitting D or delta on your keyboard. And I had been doing that every five minutes, and it still drifted 30, 40 degrees. So, man, I don't know why I drifted that far in like five minutes, but that really screwed me up. Very strange how much that's drifting. I should not drift that much. All right, stop the clock. 20 minute flight time, basically. Let's head back to base. Oh man, full right rudder. This is full right rudder, guys. I, folks, not just guys, but folks. This is full right rudder just to go straight. That's crazy. Whoa. So yes, that was one of my roughest landings in a while, but with this weather, oh my goodness, I'm lucky I even got down. Alrighty, here we go. Come on. You can do this. Turn the landing lights off, fuel pump's already off. We should have had a fuel pump on the landing. Oh my gosh, wind, dude. Even at these slow speeds, <laughs> the wind is really going crazy here. Alrighty. Um, I guess we're supposed to ask to park. Okay. Land and ground turtles of Tango Sierra 4105 taxi to parking. Turtles Come on. Tango Sierra 4105 taxi to general aviation parking using taxiway. Taxiway to parking. Taxiing to general aviation parking by a taxiway turtles of Tango Sierra. Do we have somebody over there? Waiting for us? Or is it over here? Well, uh, let's go over there. So sometimes if you want to know... Because sometimes it's hard to find the flag people. So what you can do is go to a parking area and then request taxi to parking. And then though someone will spawn in like right by you. And I think that's what this is over here. Yep, see? see my trick works not every time but most of the time especially at really large airports what you can do is just go into a taxi or a parking area and then request taxi to parking and that's where it'll send you Ooh, number one we get number one uh-huh and turn and stop stop thank you parking brake is set props back fuel back Head on down here. 
Turn that off, turn that off, and we hit this. Is this going to do the screen? There we go, finally. And we went through the um, end of flight screen. I just skipped it because it'll still count our time. It's just going to add another layer of zeros. Alrighty, there you go. Land's end. Hopefully you enjoyed it. That was some weather, though, even though it's invisible. That was some crazy weather. We did the wrong runway because the compass drifted, but whatever. I don't understand why it drifts so fast in that airplane. Like I said, every 20 minutes you want to hit D on your keyboard and make sure your compass lines up with your whiskey compass because it will drift just like real life. But every 5 minutes and then drifting 40 degrees, that's that's not right. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed it. I certainly did. I'm going to do more research about this area now. I should be doing my research before I fly, but it seems to be I do my research after I fly. Anyway, like, subscribe, play the YouTube Elder Rhythm game with me, and I'll see you next time.